seed one communication. This is actually my favorite seed because it sets us up for everything we're going to do in planning your wedding together. How to create an effective communication plan. The first thing to know is you can't buy these things in stores. Love, dreams, friends, a wish come true, and happiness. But the most important thing to understand when it comes to communication and planning is time. It can be a vampire sucker if you don't pay attention to how much time you are spending on the positive and the planning and unfortunately the negative. So planning a wedding can be extremely stressful and unfortunately cause anxiety, pressure, insomnia. It can really honestly be mentally draining. So a couple of tips that I'm going to share with you to kick off the communication seed is again, reminding you to schedule everything, not just meetings with family and friends and vendors, phone calls, but also remember you. Remember, you probably need time for you, gym time, planning time. For example, I had a client once that promised her fiance that they would only talk wedding planning on Wednesdays. So she called it Wedding Wednesdays. So you're probably going to have days and times where you feel like this, where everyone is screaming in your ear. Not from a negative side, but again, just telling you what they think and what they should do. So again, thank them all, but shut out the negative noise. And to start off by doing that, I'm going to go back to organization and talk to you about organizing yourself to ensure that you have a clear communication plan for you and your fiance. So I can't teach any program without talking about your computer and backing it up and making sure that you understand how important it is to organize the way you're communicating with yourself. If your desktop looks like this, stop now and organize it. Put it in Dropbox. Make sure you name your files And you'll feel a lot better every time you open that computer to actually start to plan your wedding. Something I've learned the hard way, don't use the post-it notes on the computer. Use the notes and make sure they are backed up in iCloud or whatever cloud-based server or service that you use to back up your computer. So your experience is going to be extremely important while you're planning your wedding together because you're beginning your new life together. And how you start out planning your wedding could be the way that you end up planning everything together as a couple. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let's pull back the drape and I want to show you how to do it. So creating a plan. Okay, so first we're going to talk about managing different personality types for family, friends, guests, and vendors. How to know exactly what people are thinking and how to customize your message for different personalities. And I've got a funny little cartoon for you. Okay, so we all know what a computer is. And hopefully, you know what backing up the computer means. So if you look on the left, the guy's on the phone. He says, my computer doesn't work. The hard drive crashed. What do I do? And the guy on the phone says, did you back up? And he like backs up and his chair falls over. And the person on the phone's like, the guy's like, why? Is it going to blow? And it's just funny to me that people assume when we're talking and communicating that we know what each other actually means. So I want to set this up so you have the right mindset to open your mind and reframe. Again, I went to school to be a psychologist. I'm a super, super psychology geek, but I love this stuff because I've actually implemented it in every business that I've started and consulted consulted with, and it works. I know it works. Here we go. 
So I developed a methodology called the Gems Unveiled Methodology. Most couples getting married, you've got some type of gem, some type of ring, some type of something on your finger typically that shows a commitment to love and committing to each other for the rest of your life. So why not commit to a communication plan? Want more? Well, you got to visit the link and it's case sensitive. So type the link exactly the way you see it below. It's bit.ly slash capital D-I-Y, lowercase wedding planning. So bit.ly slash D-I-Y wedding planning. And I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day.